Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a trading strategy that you can use that is consistently profitable over time, just trading NASDAQ only on the three or the five minute chart. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. It took lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain. But over time, I became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's just dive into this trading strategy here. Um, we're on NASDAQ, we're on the five minute chart, and on the screen to the right is something called volume profile. So you're gonna click on indicators, go over to visible range, volume profile, and that's the one I have favorited. You'll click on that, and you'll get these bars on the side of your screen. And then I just went to settings, and I changed the color from a, a up volume to gold and then down volume to red on both of these here and then I went over to inputs and just changed the row size to 68 and then value area volume is at 100 and then you have the same setup on the screen that you see here what this does is this shows where at what levels there was a lot of trading volume and at what levels there wasn't a lot of trading volume so what this means on the screen right now uh, Currently on this screen with this trading, there was a lot of trading from 18,118 to 18,045. So we know that there wasn't a lot of trading above 18,160. You can see this huge lack of volume here based on the bar size. This means that if a candle, if price got up here, then it would be very easy to go from you know 162 up to 18,210 because there's a very little volume from this 165 to this 211. So that means that if there's a, a close, especially like a high volume close in that area, then you can see a big push above. So that's the trading strategy, but what you have to be aware of is that it shows this volume based on what is on the screen currently. So what I do is before this trading day starts, you just press on uh, replay mode. So that way you can't see the current day of trading. And what you would see from here is now it's using whatever is on the screen. So I look at the past one day or the past two days of, of trading action to understand where there's a low volume area. And if there's a high volume candle close into the low volume zone, you can take a trade to go from zone to zone. So let's, let's go over this and see. So basically on my screen, we go back to Thursday. Um, so we're trading Friday. So what we wanna do is we wanna go back to Thursday morning to get our levels. Thursday morning, pre-market at about 4 a.m. So write this down. You want to start the previous day's trading, encapsulate the previous day's trading from 4 a.m. to pre-market of the current trading day, which would be, let's say, 9 a.m. before market opens. Once this is all being shown, then we go ahead and mark out where are our, our levels. So if you just go, well, I draw a horizontal line. And you'll see that there's a drop off in trading volume below 18,234. And this is where I also use my own judgment. So this is a drop off here, 234, which basically means if we got a close below there, we could see a quick rapid fall. But I don't like that there's an order block here on the three minutes at about 220, right? So, you know, I could mark out this level and we could trade, say, a short from 238 to this order block, 223, about 15 points. But not a huge fan. So then. I'll, I'll want to mark it off below this candle's body low. Why here? Because there's a lot of trading still in the way. Because if, even if I mark it below here, well, there's still an order block here. So I want to move it below the order blocks. So then same thing on the long side. We could take the long above 336. Yeah, we could take the long above 336, but it would only be up to like 363. So let's say we did mark that one off. If we got a close above here, high volume candle close above here, we could take the long, but we wouldn't want to take it if it's already trading up into like 361. So I'll put this one as blue, and this is going to be like a resistance. Um, then we could put other levels above, but for now, this is what we would do. So I hope you understand that. Reason why we don't put a level above here, 306, is because there's an order block here. So that's what I do. I look at the volume profile and then look at if there's order blocks in the way. So those are our levels going into Friday. We go over and we start the day, go down to the three minute chart for executions. And we're just gonna fast forward to the open. If we see a high volume candle close below or above a level, then we're gonna take that trade. So we go down here, nine, the market's about to open. Um, right here, 924, market almost opened. 
big close below here. Is this a 930 candle? So that's a 927 candle. So two options. I mean, I don't take the trade before market opens, but let's just say, yeah, I just I just don't take the trade before market opens. So I let the candle I could let the candle open. Um, okay, so this is the 930 candle. You can see that we opened, uh, traded up to about 176, traded as low as 127. Also, the target and the take profit, uh, take profit is is about 20 points, and uh, the stop loss is 15 points. But if it closes very far from a zone, then I move it to above the zone. But always by default, write this down. You know, the stop loss is 15 points, and the target is 20 points, right? So now that this opened and closed below our level, we could take the trade here, take the short, and have our stop loss. Yeah, so we'd have to have it on the other side of the range, 20 points, and then our target would be 20 points because it closed below the zone and hit take profit. So that's exactly how you use volume profile and that's a 20 point trade. You'd be done for the day unless we get another trade from another zone. Now, so a bonus tip can be is we don't have any more zones, but if we want to see what other trades we can take, then all we'll do is we'll go back and we'll go back and highlight uh, the previous day as well. So now we'll go all the way back so we can see uh, Thursday and Wednesday morning. Because remember, whatever's on the screen is what this volume profile is calculating. So you have to make sure you're encapsulating all of the trading. So now we're back to Wednesday as well. So even from Wednesday, yeah, there's no other zones here. So we have to go back even more days, but um, typically what, with this strategy, you only wanna take about two trades max. And I don't, I don't really take the same trade through the zone again. Uh, unless it's like just wicked me out and sets up nicely again with a high volume candle, then I'll get back in and take the trade again. But that was one win. So basically now all we're looking for is a long above this zone or we're just gonna sit on our hands for the day and just be happy with our 20 points. So we'll go back and see what happens throughout the day here. Uh, we're just fast forwarding three minute candles. You know, we sold off a lot more, uh, came back. Interesting, see, we came back and we hit the zone again. Because remember, below this zone is low volume, which means price can, can move easily through here. So that means when it comes back up, this is now gonna act as resistance. And this acted perfectly as resistance. I personally don't take these trades, but if you can see on the screen, this is a high volume reversal candle, 1048 candle, high volume reverse candle. Boom, after that close, fell 50 points, right? So uh, another rule, write down this rule here, uh, only taking trades from 9.30 to 12. So three minute candle closes, you have to wait for the candle to close through the zone and uh, you're gonna have the stomp loss either 15 points or 20 points. This one was 20 points because it closed 20 points away from the zone. Because like we said, that zone's gonna act as resistance. Um, price can wick the, wick the zone, but if it's gonna keep going, then um, we wouldn't expect it to come all the way back through. We wanted to maybe wick the zone and come back down. So this is a one-to-one -one trade that went for a lot more also, but you would just stomp right there because that's already a win for the day. And that's, that's usually what happens is you take the first time it closes through and then you're done for the day. Now let's do the day before. So let's say we're gonna trade Thursday and Thursday morning, we just do replay mode till 9 a.m. So now we're pre-market. We wanna encapsulate the previous trading day, which is Wednesday. So we'll just scroll back on the time timeline until we get to Wednesday, 4 a.m. Compress it a bit. Make sure all of the candles are on the screen. That's what you'll see to the left. We got uh, 4 a.m. Okay, so this is all the trading. And basically, you can see right here, huge drop off above 396. So you could take a long above 396, but I don't like that there's these order blocks and this trading in the way. So my favorite long would be um, just above, yeah, 426. My favorite long would be above here. Um, I would have to be aware of the resistance here. So I, I wouldn't even like that. That's not like my, my favorite long. I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't be so happy taking that. Um, but if I wanted to take a short, short level would be just a bel below these bodies. Same thing. We have a big volume drop off here. We could take this, but there's some chop here and order blocks. So we just want to put a, the level just below the bodies. So if we got a close below 18,293 or 292, we would like the short. If we got a long above, you know, it's 426, we, we could take the long, but this one, 50-50 on. Uh, if we wanted a better long, 
Yeah, the best long would be above the highs at 485. Or a good long would be above 440. So I'm going to mark out 440 and I'm going to mark out 4, 426. And we'll see uh, which one of these levels work. Because it's not going to be always 100%, right? So let's come in Thursday. This one's a little bit more tricky of a day. And you'll see that some days there might be no trade. Like if you're not super confident in a setup, like the short, I'm, I'm more confident in than the long. So I might not take the long at all. And if the short doesn't come for that day, then there's no trade during using this strategy. And that's okay because this strategy is, is about 80% win rate. So I'm you know, expecting to take some losses. But uh, over time, it's, about, it's more than a 1R. So you'll win more than you lose. So that's okay. So let's just fast forward to see if we get to a zone. This is market open. We're looking for a lot of volume. Uh, oh, my bad. I went too fast. I went too fast. So, I mean, we would end up taking the short here on this candle close. Uh, huge volume on this 948 candle. So we would we would enter here on this candle close. We closed very far from the zone, but the max stop is still 20 points, right? So we we're still going to keep 20 points as a max stop. And then our target here is just going to be uh, 20 points. So we're going to we're going to see if this one hits. It might just retrace and stop us out. No, didn't uh, hit target. So came close to the TP, retraced, looked like it was going to stop us out, and then hit target. So Thursday, again, another win. So on Thursday and Friday, there's 20 points each day. Remember, 20 points with one contract. 20 points equals $400. Two cons equals $800. I trade uh, one or two contracts, right? It's Half the time it's uh, two contracts, half the time it's one contract. If you're trading two contracts, that was $800 on Thursday, $800 on Friday. If you're up 1.6K for the week, just taking two trades. One trade per morning, uh, and both days you were done by 10 a.m., right? Um, typically, with what I do with this strategy is if I have two wins for the day with this strategy, I'm just done, right? Two wins done, because that's that's great, right? You don't want to over trade. You don't want to keep taking the same trade through the zone. So let's see as a bonus. Let's just see if this zone holds as resistance. We'll go fast forward. Um, so it wicks it. Now it kind of just presses right through. There's a lot of clean trading to the left. Let's see if it uh, trades back down now. Yeah, See, so you can see this zone acted as some sort of, of resistance, right? But then we got back above. Eh, we're fighting, we're fighting. We're trading around this zone because remember, below here is low volume, which means it's easy for price to pass through. And then above here is higher volume, so it's harder for price to pass through. That's why this is a high probability setup because we're taking trades during times of high volume on high volume candles in zones where there's not a lot of volume traded, which means it should be very easy to pass through because there's now high volume being traded in that area that previously had low volume trading in. I hope that makes sense. And that's going to be concluding that strategy. That's exactly the full strategy. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions on this. This is exactly how I trade this strategy. I trade NQ on the three minute chart. I'll set the levels up on the three minute or the five minute chart. Uh, just encap encapsulating the previous day of trading with the volume profile. And I'll only take the entry on candle closes. Stop loss is either 15 points or 20 points. And the target is always 20 points. And so it's, it ends up being a 1R or like 1.2R, 80% uh, win rate, and uh, only taking the trades 9.30 to 12 p.m., stopping at lunchtime. Um, you'll see that the trades also work, you know, 2 to 3 p.m., but they work the best uh, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. Um, if you take two wins, done for the day. Uh, the strategy also works on ES, right? I showed you it on NQ, but it also works on ES. So. If you want to just also do the same thing on ES, then you could increase the amount of profits you could potentially have. If you're just watching, just watching ES on the three minute, you're watching NQ on the three minute, and you have these uh, alerts set at these levels. Once it passes and closes through those levels with high volume, then you take the trade, and you'll see that you're you're profitable. So that's going to conclude this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.